spine flexion, pales and rails. For this exercise, you don't need any equipment. We're gonna start in a quadruped position, which looks like this. So my hips are aligned with my knees, my hips are over my knees, my shoulders are over my hands here in this position. Now spine flexion is this position here. So I'm moving my spine into a C shape, okay? My head will naturally start coming down. Now from here, as with any pails and rails exercise, we'd normally spend about two minutes in this stretch. Now maybe you won't feel a lot of stretch, that's okay, but ideally we would spend about two minutes in this position. Then after that, we do the pails followed by the rails. So what is the pails? Again, if you're confused by the terms, I have a separate video where I explain what these terms actually refer to. But in any case, pails in this case from here is going to be pushing our hands forward while simultaneously pushing our knees backwards. So if we want a slippery surface on ice, for example, our hands would be going this way while our knees are going behind us and we would be gradually progressing from 10% contraction. So we'd be here after this two minute stretch, maintaining this position. We would then 10% of maximum contraction. So breathing in, packing the air into the stomach, contracting all the muscles throughout my body at 10% contraction level. Then gradually to 30%, 50%, 80% to 100%. The whole time, we're pushing our hands forward while pushing our knees back. So they're moving away from each other. They're trying to move in opposite directions, okay? So this way and this way, this way and this way. Okay, that's the pails. Then we have the rails, which is the opposite. So after we do that, we gradually ramp up until we reach 100%. We would then normally switch into the rails contraction, during which time we're trying to increase the amount of flexion. So to do that, we wanna imagine the opposite. We wanna bring our hands and knees together is the feeling we're going for, but because this is a, a non-slippery surface, that's not gonna happen. But if this was a slippery surface, the idea is to bring our knees and hands together. Another way to think of it is that we'll bring our chest down towards our core, like we're doing a crunch, okay? So from here, it would look like, the whole time we're maintaining the spine flex, flexion here. So visually, it doesn't look much different. So the pails pushing away, right now I'm pushing away, hands moving this way, legs moving behind me. Now pulling in, rails. Pulling in, knees forward, hands back, chest crunching down, trying to increase the amount of flexion in my spine. We would normally do a maximum effort contraction, but so immediately 100% contraction, but you could also do gradually 10, 30, 50, 80, 100, depending on what you want to do depending on how familiar you are with these kind of exercises. Okay, so let's review all the key points. First key point is that the whole time, regardless of if you're in pails or rails, you're always maintaining this position. You're maintaining this flex position. After the about two minute stretch or however long you're spending stretching here, you then move into the pails where we push the hands and knees away from each other. But while we're doing this, we're not allowing this to happen. So we're still maintaining sp spine flexion while we're gradually ramping up 10, 30, 50, 80, 100%, moving our knees and hands away from each other. If this was a slippery surface, our hands would be sliding forward, our knees sliding back. Then, normally after that, after the maximum effort contraction or pushing hard, we'd switch to the rails contraction, which is now trying to do the opposite, bring the knees and hands together, squeezing, trying to increase fight for every small amount of increased spine flexion that you can, fighting as hard as you can, maximum effort contraction, and then relax. The relax, when we relax, it doesn't mean relax and go like this. This means relax and maintain this position. That would be one round. Depending on what you'd wanna do then, you would repeat. You wouldn't have to repeat the two minute stretch necessarily, but just the pails and the rails. Pails and rails meaning the pushing away and pushing, pulling together parts of the exercise. That would be a second round or a third round, okay? Again, if you're confused by these terms, pails and rails, I have videos on this channel where I explain what those terms refer to so you can also check those out. But those are the key things to remember when doing a spine flexion, pails and rails.